This video will guide you through the important installation and safety considerations when fitting automation to an electric sliding gate. Safety requirements must always meet the European standards. Full details of these can be found on our website. In this video, we'll look at frequently asked questions, vehicle and pedestrian safety, and the built-in obstacle detection. Using a floor track, the sliding gate's length should be approximately 350 to 450 millimeters wider than the width of the opening. This allows room to position the motor behind the wall, away from the opening and support post. Gate rollers are fitted to the bottom of the gate. These are available in surface type that bolt onto the bottom of the gate and countersunk that are inset into the bottom bar of the gate. Generally, countersunk rollers are more aesthetically pleasing as they allow the gate to be lower to the ground. Only two rollers are used as a third roller can work against the others if the track is not perfectly straight. Roller positioning the rule is to take the gate size, including overhang, divide it by 4 and take off another 10 to 15%. For example, on a 4 meter gate, 4 divided by 4 equals 1 meter, minus 15% equals 85 centimeters. The result is the distance from each end of the gate to the center of the roller. This formula allows even weight distribution over both rollers with bias on each end to stop the rocking effect. On particularly heavy gates, you can fit two pairs of rollers as shown. The recommended practice to support sliding gates is using a C-channel, roller and support post. The C-channel is fitted mid-height on the inside of the gate and runs along a pair of rollers attached to a support post. As you can see, the support post has safety edges attached to either side. We'll look at this in more detail later on in the video. The C-channel support is ideal for gates that don't have a flat top. If the gate does have a flat top, then roller sets are available to support the gate from above. Although for safety, we would still recommend the C-channel and post to ensure if the roller fails, the gate won't fall onto a pedestrian, only onto the support post. Rack is available in steel and nylon coated steel. Nylon is usually used on small gates and is much quieter in operation. The rack is fitted along the bottom bar of the gate and sits on the cog of the motor which moves the gate. It's important to get the tooth spacing correct between the lengths for a smooth travel. On sliding gates, the photocells go between the opening posts and prevent the gate from closing should there be a vehicle parked in the way. If the gate is closing and the beam is broken, the gate will reopen. Vehicle presence detectors can be used on the inside of the property. This detects when a vehicle passes over it and triggers the gate to open. If a vehicle is parked over the detection loop, the gate will not close. Pedestrian safety is covered by fitting safety edges onto the danger areas of the gate. These include the shearing, dragging, hooking, impact and crushing points. On a barred gate, as shown, there's a chance of somebody getting caught between the open bars of a moving gate and a stationary post or pillar. To protect against crushing, Safety edges are fitted to the front and back of the gate. As the gates are moving, these use a wireless transmitter system. As per the current requirements, our control boards constantly monitor any 8K2 safety edges fitted to the gate. This is to ensure they're always in working order. The brushless control board has two 8K2 inputs. 
all our gate systems have built-in obstacle detection. When a gate runs against an obstacle in its closing phase, it will sense the pressure change and back off to a safe position. With brushless motors, the encoder allows the obstacle detection to work throughout the entire gate travel, including the slow down phase. Thank you for watching. If you have any unanswered questions, please call to discuss them. This video is a simple guide to correct and safe installation. Installers should always apply the current necessary European norms UNAC guides in full.